Let's bring in Leslie Ann Scorgi. She is the author of several personal finance books, including Rich by 30, Your Guide to Financial Success. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, I want to begin with the, the news that came out today, the fact that Canada began this year in recession. How significant is that? I think for individuals, it's a sense of worry. When a recession hits, often people are most concerned about their jobs and job security, how they're going to provide for their family, and it really hits home, especially when they're looking at their financial statements and maybe even their investment portfolios. So being worried is really on the minds of a lot of Canadians right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is this fear that if you talk about recession, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. People hear recession, they stop spending, that in turn hurts the economy, and that brings a recession to fruition. Is that in fact what happens? Uh, to some extent, but you as an individual household need to really protect what you've worked so hard to earn. So it does mean, you know, tightening your own spending so that you can protect your family and your, your current expenses, they still have to be paid. When we talk about spending on a larger scale, a lot of that money is coming from businesses and business growth. And that's really where um, the economy gets its biggest uptick when we encourage spending. Now consumers going out and buying um, cars and refrigerators and whatnot, that does help the economy, but if you're a business buying 15 cars or 20 refrigerators, the impact is a lot bigger. So it's really important to think about yourself. It's time, in fact, to be a little bit self-centered. Mm -hmm. um, during recessionary times, you must look at your own balance sheet and try and protect it. Well, let's get a bit more specific. You know, when you mm -hmm. talk about uh, turning inwards and being all about yourself at a time, of recession who are those that need to be worried in times of a downturn well there are some vulnerable groups um, one of them are fixed income members of society so those tend to be retirees who are relying on an investment portfolio that may just have experienced a significant drop in value due to the market um, experiencing Black Monday mm -hmm. or some volatility. Um, we also see um, groups such as millennials who now are in their second recession and still underemployed and they're not seeming to make much progress on their debt or even finding um, good sources of income. So anybody that's on a fixed income or new to the job market will probably be hardest hit as well as those that are contractors because contracts tend to be hit first when job cuts are being made. Mm -hmm. And of course, if a recession is long term, then job cuts seem to follow. Absolutely. Uh, now, interestingly, you have some tips on recession proofing your life. I'm going to go through some of these tips one by one. I'm going to ask you to uh, expand on them. And the first tip you say is tighten your belt. Expand on that one. So everybody has a budget. And if you don't have one, you need to have one, especially during times of recession. And going through your budget to determine where you can cut back or cut out expenses. This is about downsizing your latte, not taking your car for an expensive car wash. All these little expenditures that you make, um, even back to school right now, if you're thinking of buying Junior, that fancy laptop, you might need to wait a year. So tightening your financial belt right in your home is really important, as well as uh, implementing really prudent debt management practices. You need to make your payments on time and in full, and don't, whatever you do, take on additional debt. Mm -hmm. uh, you also say never rely on one source of income. This one surprised me. Yeah, so, Self-made millionaires are really, uh, they, they stand out because they are recession-proofing themselves even before a recession happens. They are adding multiple sources of income, things like income from investments, income from, um, let's say they get a second job, or even they freelance their skills. But as, as an individual in a recession, you want to try and expand your sources of income as quickly as you can so that if you lose one, you can rely on others. And you also say take advantage of low markets. So this is a, a Warren Buffett tip. When the markets are low, you want to take advantage of low prices. That means opportunities for value investors to get in, buy low, and eventually sell high. But the caveat with this is that you need to have your finances in order. You can't be taking on additional debt during a recession to buy into the market. That's not financially prudent. You want to have your house in order, your debt in order and the capacity to actually 
make smart investments for the long term, just like Warren Buffett. Well, and if you have Warren Buffett as a financial advisor, that's great, but still always good to speak to someone beforehand and uh, just not take what you hear on TV, per se. Absolutely. Uh, and you also say that don't panic, don't sell, just because you're in recession when you talk about so that. So it's tempting when the recession, when any recession hits to become panicky, you're nervous, and especially when you're seeing the day-to-day -day volatility in your own personal investment account. Um, so expert investors often recommend that you either ride it out or you have um, what they call limits in place. So you set your own personal limit. If my portfolio, for example, drops by 10%, then I will sell or I'm going to ride it out. But you need to have a strategy and the strategy is what will prevent you from panicking. What you don't want to have happen is a panicky move such as selling too late or too early during a mark some type of market shift and you end up losing. So those who hop, those who hop around from investments to investments, they typically stop their growth and are only earning somewhere around 4% on their uh, portfolios in the long term. That's not very much more than inflation. But those who take a long term approach, kind of like the Warren Buffett style approach, they end up earning close to if not more than the market. Okay, well, some uh, good and timely advice, Leslie Ann. Thank you for that. Again, uh, speak to someone before you make any decision about your own personal situation, but that is personal finance author Leslie Ann Scorgi speaking to us right here in studio.